2020 was a difficult year for the USA. The country was rocked by epidemic, racked by shortages, and nearly wrecked by lack of direction, poor leadership, and an aversion to reality. Times were bleak. The ship of state adrift. The crew uncertain. Today we have been resurrected from this disaster and given hope by a new regime that has assumed power, lifting our hopes and this deadly scourge from across the nation. America is open for business once again. Lights on. The thermos is full, the beer is cold, the picnic basket packed and the highway is calling. From the open beaches of Fire Island, New York, where the bear hunting usually involves multiple rounds of mimosas, to the cramped confines of the hip anything goes California shores, America offers something for everyone. It's time to make America fun again, and the perfect moment to hit the road and see what is ours. Nothing says welcome to the USA like a big green statue from France holding a book no one ever reads while waving a road flare which reminds us that the road ahead is perilous. On to Philadelphia, city of brotherly love. Philly, as the locals call it, is also the home to Pennsylvania's largest cream cheese mining operation, producing 90% of the world's supply. No trip to Pennsylvania is complete without a visit to the Steel City, a town once so smoky you had to change your shirt at noon. They still do that in Pittsburgh today, but now it's caused by the big messy sandwiches the city is famed for. Washington DC, our nation's capital, offers the twin pleasures of a monument to the presidential phallus and home to our nation's leaders. DC is home to the Smithsonian Institute, where great artifacts of American history, from George Washington's hippopotamus teeth to J. Edgar Hoover's petticoat, are on display. As we move south through the tobacco fields and cheap cigarettes that have made America the envy of the world, we head toward Florida, the Sunshine State, home of gators on meth and political zealots of every stripe. Leaving the Sunshine State, we find ourselves landing in Chicago, home to more steakhouses and pizza joints per capita than any town in the USA. Look, there's one of Chicago's favorite pieces of public art, affectionately known as the Bean. It stands testament to Chicago's nickname, the Windy City. With a tank full of gas and a belly full of beans, we head out searching for adventure. The American highway system, envy of the world, carries us through amber waves of grain from sea to shining sea with an occasional stop for snacks, attractions, and scenic wonders of all sorts. We move along through enchanted New Mexico and into Arizona, the Melanoma State, home to the largest hole in the ground in the entire USA, said to be formed by an overzealous Senate committee looking for those elusive emails and a place to bury the bodies. Any traveler will appreciate a quick side trip to Las Vegas. Remember, what happens in Vegas stays on your police report and may require penicillin. And on we go to Southern California. Fun in the sun, fashionable celebrities, amusement parks, and wide open sunny beaches. Say, those beach fashions look pretty fetching, don't they ladies? And look at those boards. Surf's up, dude. At the Pacific, we turn right, heading north. San Francisco is the boy your dad warned you about in a state you'd never take home to mother. Tastes like lollipop. We make our way north. Portland, Oregon, where microbrews are king and the street festivals are a riot. Seattle, Washington, where the Jetsons chose to build their retirement condo. Seattle, home to hip bands beautiful vistas and great food. The sun always shines in the Emerald City. At the edge of America, we look back and wonder.
So it's easy to see that the USA is wide awake. Turn on the sign. Set out the tables. We are ready. We are willing. We are able to get back to work and back to play. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam, we have paid our dues and paid the price. Now it's time to go out and see what is ours. The bars, the restaurants, the coffee shops, the hot dog stands. All of America is waiting just for you. We may have been built on an Indian graveyard by slave labor, but we remain a great nation with ample parking. Sing it from the mountaintops. America is back and better than ever. We are open to suggestions. We are open to reason. And we are open for business.